Time for a profile update! Hi, your local dragon lady here. Not too long ago, I did do a updated deck profile of my Nurse Emoji Burn deck. Not too many drastic changes, but it was still pretty effective. However, thanks to the release of Blazing Vortex, I've done even further updates, and I really wanted to do a quick update. The reason why I'm doing the profile this way is because some of the cards I don't have in my possession yet. It's going to be a long time before I get them in my possession because they're so damn expensive. But anyway, I've been playing with this online lately and mm, it's pretty effective. So let's just dive right in. Um, if you've seen my previous profiles, you already know how this deck works. It just burns your opponent with heavy damage and you can even do OTKs with this. I've done it many, many times. So starting off, we have three Dark Lord Nurse, Normal Summon Her. As long as she's on the field, any life gain effects that your opponent has uh, is going to turn to damage instead. So you can try to give them life points, it's going to turn into a burn. Uh, late One Lady, uh, Lilith Lady of the Laminate, uh, once she's Normal Summon, you can tribute her off and you can search for three Normal Traps, pick one at random, and you set it. Uh, it'd be nice to have more of her in there. I can't really squeeze her in, but one sometimes does the job. At least you can slide her out for anything that's more useful depending on your matchup. Three marshmallows. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. No one expects him. Uh, he's great for defense because you're not going to have a lot of monsters to protect yourself with. So he can't be destroyed by battle. Uh, if your opponent were to attack into him while he's face down, flip him up and they will take a thousand uh, damage. So uh, now it doesn't work that well against... People at my locals, they already know about this trick, but when I'm online, they see I have a face down defense monster. They think, ah, you're just on the defensive. They attack into it, and bam, they're burned, and they can't attack it. So they gotta use a card effect to get rid of it. For draw power, uh, three pop extravagance, it's still a really good card, especially in this one, because you're not utilizing the extra deck whatsoever. So banish three to six cards, you can draw one or two cards. Fantastic for the draw power. You can only use it once at the beginning of your uh, standby phase. One up star goblin. You draw one card. Your opponent is supposed to gain a thousand life points, but if you have your Simochi or your nurse up, it's going to be a thousand points damage instead. Three pod disparity. Ah, this card. <sighs> so expensive. I'm not going to get this for a while as much as I want to, <laughs> want to get it now, but. Too expensive, but anyway, um, this card works really well in this deck for the same reason as a pop extravagance. Uh, you don't use your extra deck, so you're not really wasting anything there at all. So this is basically a far superior version of the pod duality, which is now removed from this build. So you can banish three or six cards from your extra deck. You get to choose; they're not random. Uh, you gotta be face down though, and you excavate the number of cards. So if you banish three cards, you excavate three. If you banish six cards, you excavate six and you add one of them to your hand you gotta put the rest to the bottom of your deck in well in any order you want now it when this card resolves any damage your opponent receives will be half but it doesn't really matter in this deck because most of the damage you'll be dealing is going to be during your opponent's turn because all the heavy hitters are crap cards so if you get this card in your opening hand fantastic it just allows you to dig deeper into your deck to get that one extra card that you need Three Banishment of the Dark Lords, it's basically an extra copy of Dark Lord Nurse. So essentially you're playing with six copies of Dark, Dark Lord Nurse. So she's very easy to access with this card plus a drop power. Psychic Eraser Laser. Okay, uh, I am trading to get this card. This is really, really good. It's a double whammy. It helps get rid of a puppet mag monster on your opponent's side of the field. And they take burn damage so long as you have the nurse and the smochi up. So it says you send one monster your opponent controls have a special summon from the extra deck to the graveyard. So it says send. So it's not targeting. So you don't have to worry about that kind of protections. And your opponent is supposed to gain life points equal to the attack or defense of that monster, whichever one is higher. And uh, you don't activate one per turn. So yes, uh, if you send an extra deck monster that has a very high attack power to the graveyard, and your Samochi and, and Nurse are up, bam, <laughs> that's more damage you're going to take. And you got rid of a 
monster. You know, very, very convenient. Uh, Demise of the Land uh, is a quick play magic card. Uh, each, you know, when your opponent is about to summon a monster, which, let's face it, is every single game, you can activate this and activate a magic, a field magic card from your deck onto your field. And that field spell is Dark Sanctuary. I love, love this card. Uh, it's mainly meant for the Ouija board deck, but I use it for a secondary effect. And for those of you who are new to this card or to this video, to this deck, what I use it for is a secondary effect. Um, each time your opponent declares an attack, you have to flip a coin. Now, if the coin lands on heads, the attack is negated and your opponent has to take burn damage for half the attacking value of that monster. Yes, now if it lands on tails, uh, the attack goes through as normal, but this makes your opponent hesitate because if they can't get rid of their, this card, they're going to take a chance. They got, they're gambling on whether they should attack or not. So not only does, can this card protect you from attack damage, but it can burn your opponent. Um, in return, so it's really, really good. I used to have Metaverse and Terraforming in this deck as well to search it out faster, but because it had more draw power and search power in this deck, you don't really need those. But I mean, if you don't mind playing with a 42 card deck, well, you can add those in if you know if you really want to get this card very, very fast. Uh, if you want, you can replace it with Mystic Mine. Mm, but Mystic Mine, um, it's, uh, I like Dark Sanctuary because it gives your opponent the option to attack, but you kind of want your opponent to try to attack because it can burn them down even faster. But hey, it all depends on how you uh, want to uh, <laughs> go forward with this idea. Uh, three gift cards. It's supposed to give your opponent 3,000 life points, and that's going to be 300 life points of damage. Uh, three, the Paths of Destiny. Another coin toss card. Uh, it doesn't matter what the coin lands on in your opponent's case because with the Nurse and Samoji, it's going to be damaged regardless. However, you as the duelist, you still have to toss the coin because it's still, you're still a chance that you will take 2,000 uh, damage or gain 2,000 life points. So, so the coin has to be tossed uh, regardless. Try and guess. This card is more effective in, this, in Master Rule 5 than it was in Master Rule 4. Master Rule 4, if you really could play a deck that had nothing but Link monsters, but now everyone has a combination of all the extra deck monsters. So try and guess once you flip it up. Each person must declare one extra deck monster. It has to be either a fusion, a synchro, or an XC. Both players reveal what's in their extra deck, and the player that has more cards of that declare card type, they are supposed to gain 3,000 life points but it's going to be burned damage. So the extra deck you have has nothing but Link Monster. So you can't go wrong. So you're almost guaranteed to do the damage to your opponent by declaring either the Fusion Sync or XZ. Trap Trick. Trap Trick is basically an extra copy of each of these high hitting burn cards. So uh, if you don't have either of them set, you can activate Trap Trick. You can banish, you know, you can search three gift cards, banish one, and set it, and you can activate immediately. So basically, Trap Trick is an extra copy of each of them. And of course, the bad reaction to is emoji. It's just a trap version of the nurse. So you set it, it's a permanent trap. Same idea. Anytime your opponent would gain life points, it's going to turn to damage instead. So yeah, so it's a great backup to your nurse. So you have nine ways, nine, nine cards that give you that kind of effect against your opponent. Extra deck, it's all jank link monsters. It doesn't matter, just so long as they're legal and you don't carry any more than three of each. So yes. Now for the... I do have a side deck here. Um, due to the lack of organized play, your side deck should only be uh, used for what um, you think you're going up against the most online, because it's still COVID format pandemic format per se, but I do have some interesting cards here. Um, Bye Bye Damage, <laughs> I did experiment with this card. Uh, what this does is during damage calculation, if your monster is attacked, your battling monster cannot be destroyed by battle, but you also, but if you take battle damage from that battle, your opponent takes damage equal to double that amount. So, I mean, my nurse is basically sitting duck at this point. So not only does that entice people to attack into her, you know, despite Dark Sanctuary around the field, but bye-bye damage can deflect a lot of that 
uh, light point damage to them. So it's it's pretty nifty, and it is searchable with Trap Trick and with uh, with Lilith. Uh, twin Twisters, you know, in case you're going to get someone who's that's back row heavy. Uh, Dark Lord No More is pretty important because if you do happen to go second and your opponent were to um, get a negate board heavy field up, um, you know, you can probably... Actually, no, uh, not really, because um, once you activate Dark Lord No More, your, your opponent is going to take any damage. But if they have any effects that prevent you from... Um, Activating card effects like your banishment of the Dark Lords. Well, you needed to go out to at least search for your Dark Lord Nurse. You can normal summon her, set your traps, and pass you know to the next turn. So yeah, that's still you know still pretty nifty. I have two more Lilas just in case you know you can swap it back and forth and Kaiju's because, well, again they could have a monster that negates an effect that you really need to use. So anyway, that is my quick updated version of the Nurse Mochi deck. Um, what do you think? Is there any more cards you think I should add or remove? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, remember to be a good sport, play the game, not the fame. Bye!